Yo guys, what's going on? This is HyperShatter92 here, and today I'm giving you another update on my Dark Magician Girl Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile. This uh, deck has had a little bit of a another upgrade, and I think this is probably the better build on this deck so far at the moment where I've been playing with it and and dueling. And right now it's just uh it's it's working out really good for me. So I figured with this new update, I figured I'd make another updated deck profile video and uh, and plus I'm gonna go over a little bit of things that some people kind of seen in the other video that I forgot to point out in some reasons and like for the extra deck I'm gonna go ahead and get down to this and we're gonna go ahead and, and talk about the deck about what we're running first we're gonna start with our monsters we are Still running three Dark Magician Girl. And with Dark Magician Girl, she gains 300 attack for every Dark Magician or Magician of Black Chaos that's in the graveyard. So let's, we're still going to keep running three of her because this is a Dark Magician Girl deck. So she's the star of the deck. So you can't go wrong with having three of her. Next... We are still running three of the Kiwi Magician Girl. And with Kiwi, during your either player's turn, you can discard with this card. Magician Girl monsters you currently control gain 300 attack and defense for each Magician Girl in your graveyard with different names. And also... Spellcaster type monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects and your opponent control and your opponent cannot target them with any card effects. So this is still she's good to to also give you that power boost from the magician girls that's in the grave or to just, just to save you in general. And we are Still currently running Chocolate Magician Girl, but I am going to go ahead and say this. The Magician Girls, they are still the same. It's still the same Magician Girls, same number and everything. But just in case for anyone new that don't know what the cards do, I'll still go ahead and read them and let you know. For once per turn, you can discard one one card Spellcaster type monster. I'm sorry, you can discard one Spellcaster type monster. Draw one card once per turn if this card is targeted for an attack you can target one spellcaster type monster in your graveyard except chocolate magician girl special summon it and then once this on there the attacking monster loses uh half its attack which is a, a pretty good combo because the shield automatically just do it depending on how much magician girls you have and we're still running three, not three, two lemon, I'm sorry. Apple got mixed up in there somehow. Uh, two lemon. We're still running two of lemon magician girl. And with her, you can, once per turn, you can target one magician girl monster except lemon magician girl. And one spellcaster monster in your deck. To your add one spellcaster type monster from the deck and you add it straight to your hand. And once per turn, it's basically the same as Chocolate Magician Girl. You can activate the effect and you can special summon a Magician Girl monster and your attack changes to the new one that you just special summon. And then the monster loses half his attack again. And next, two Apple Magician Girls. Apple is basically the second part of the effect. It's the same as the other Magician Girls here. And, but, and it also, uh, you, if this card is a target for attack, you special summon one level five or lower spellcaster monster from your hand. Then change the attack to that target. It's basically the same as this one. And then if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target up to one other magician girl monsters with different names in your graveyard and add them to your hand 
which basically getting some some more monsters back and you can recycle the effects again and again which is pretty good if you're you know into playing with the magician girls and then we have three copies of berry magician girl she's also good if you want to try and get some some stuff out but and also uh this card if this card is normal summoned you can add one magician girl monster from your deck to your hand once per turn during your, your either player's turn when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets this card or targets this card for an attack you can change this card's battle position and if you do you can special summon one dark magician girl from your from your deck except uh berry magician girl so this is just basically a a quick way for you to bring out the ace of the deck dark magician girl straight bring in onto the into the playing field and next uh there, there's Dark Magician Girl deck is also not complete without having her master, Dark Magician. We're running two copies of this still because it's Dark Magician. And also, one of the other new cards we have added is one copy of Apprentice Illusion Magician. And with her, you can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one card. If this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you can add one dark magician from your deck to your hand during the damage step you're in if your dark other dark spellcaster type monster battles and an opponent's monster quick effect you can send this card from your hand face up and from your from your field to the graveyard then the monster you control gains 2000 attack and defense during the damage step only but this, this uh, that was a killer effect and plus it, it'll also help you bring out dark magician if you're trying to get dark magician out too for any reasons and we're also we're still running one mahad because you're only running one because you don't want to see him that often because when you draw him during a draw phase you can just show him to your opponent and then you can just automatically special summon him to the field which will give you 2500 attack points right off the bat and for the last monster, we're running one of Magician of Black Chaos because you can ritual summon it pretty easy in the deck when you get the ritual spell card to use him. And and uh, also if he's in the graveyard, he also give his attack a uh, bonus for the 300 for Dark Magician Girl. And that will be it for our monsters. And now we're going to move on over to our spells. And for the first spell, we are still run. We are still running uh, two Dark Magic Veil. But uh, you can pay 1,000 life points, and you can special summon a Dark Spellcaster type monster fr uh, from your hand or graveyard, which is another easy way. Like if you want to get Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl, you can just pay the life points, and then you can get them out. And we're still running Dark Burning Attack. By if you control Dark Magician Girl, you can destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. I've used this quite a lot. It really helps me for if I want to try and make a direct attack, and it really does help. Here's an, and this is another newer card that I have recently just added: Dark Burning Magic. By having both Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl on the field, you can just uh, obliterate and wipe out every card on your opponent's field spells monsters traps everything and you can just leave them completely wide open that's a pretty good card there to have in the deck too we're and we're also still running two i have to nice i'm still running just two because so far everything is still going good and if, and if everything changes i'll probably add another later on but you can use this to summon any fusion monster that has uh, a dra legendary dragon or any kind of dragon monster or if you're trying to use another monster in general this card will become that uh, extra fusion material target if it specifies dark magician or dark magician girl and we're still running the one black magic ritual so we'll still be able to summon 
the Magician of Black Chaos. We're also still currently running the Dark Magic Expand. By apply these effects, and and you can do and as long as you control Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl, you can just use one of these effects. You can either use the first one, Dark Spellcaster Monsters on the field gain 1,000 attack until the end of the turn, or two, this turn your opponent cannot activate cards. The basically spell and traps to target your mon or monsters, Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl to keep your basically keeping them safe for that turn, and or you can use the third one, which is Dark Spellcaster Monsters you control are unaffected by any opponent's card effects this turn. So basically, this is another card. I'm mostly using the second one for in in, in case of any kind of situations. I will just attend, occasionally use the third or the first one, but mostly I try and go for the second one. Then we're still running one soldier revealing light, which um in case you get in case you get into a bind, you'll have three turns to try and turn it around. And and we're still running one dark magic inheritance. Banish two spell cards from your graveyard and one add one spell or trap card from your deck to your hand that specifies the card Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl in its card text except for Dark Magic Inheritance. You can only activate the, this kind of co copy of a card once per turn. This was easy for you to get uh, the Dark Burning Attack or the Dark Burning Magic. I use it mostly to try and get either one of those two because it'll automatically help me if I got any of the two listed monsters on the field. And then I have the last spell will be Cost Down, which you basically just uh, decrease the number of stars by two, which is making you just automatically normal summon Dark Magician Girl just like that. And this would be it for the spells. Now we're going on to our traps. And for our traps, we're currently running still to Magician's Defense. And while you currently control spell, dark, uh, not dark, but any kind of spellcaster type monsters, the damage you take is halved. And you cannot have the damage twice this way. And you can target one spellcaster type monster in your graveyard and special summon it. This card kind of actually saved me from time to time whenever I get to use it. So that's, that's a pretty good card to have in the deck. And here is another card that I've recently just added. It is Black Illusion. And Black Illusion, until the end of the turn, all Dark Spellcaster type monsters with 2,000 or more attacks currently controlled that you have on the field... Or cannot be destroyed by battle and their card effects cannot be negated and un and you're also uh, not affected by your opponent's card effects then this card is it's been a big game changer for the deck because of the dark magician girl deck and the spellcasters that's all in it. it that card has just been a big game changer it helps me a lot whenever i get to use it uh, if you're making a deck like this i recommend grabbing one of those because it'll just save you for all the time the next, the, this is the last card that I have recently just added for the, therefore is the main deck. The dark, the, uh, not, um, uh, here we go. Magician's Navigation. I'm sorry. That's, this is the new card that I've recently just added for Magician's Navigation. Special summon one dark magician from your hand. Then special summon one level seven or lower dark spellcaster type monster from your deck, which is another way if you, this is just basically giving you dark magician and dark magician girl for free. And then... Except when this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one face up spell trap card your opponent controls, and it has negated until the end of the turn. So this card, I mostly use it to get both Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl out at the same time, and then I can, and if I have any of the other two spells, Dark Burning Magic or Dark. Or the indie, the, anyway, the other two cards that the Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl the, uh, to wipe out some of their opponent's field, this will help you get, if you have both those in your hand, you play this, you can just um, automatically just destroy everything out of, on their field. That That's pretty good for that. 
And then we're still the rest of the cards is still the same. We're still running one Dark Renewal, which will let you special summon a monster by trip by if your opponent normal summons and you can tribute it and plus one you control the and you can just tribute it and get another monster out. And next, we're still running a Magician Circle. You uh, activate this card and you um, if you're if you're attacking or or if your opponent if, anyway whoever whoever you or your opponent if one of you is attacking a spellcaster type monster you activate this card you can special summon um, a spellcaster type monster with two thousand or less attack straight from the deck to the field and we're and we're still running one mirror force just in case your opponent tries to attack and you have weaker monsters or no monsters at all you can just destroy all their attack position monsters. And the last trap card, we're still running one magic cylinder. So if we can, we can just bounce their attack right back at them and nail them right in their life points. And for that being with the traps, we're going to go straight to that. Now we're going straight to the extra deck. Now the extra deck, this is uh, one card in particular is, is one card that everyone kind of got a little, didn't know much about is because one card I'm running is still... Magic, Magic, Magician, Gal. You can still see that uh, it's still the original Japanese card that I just taped the translations to it on top of the card sleeve. And some of the people in the last video uh, noticed that it isn't legal to play in any of the tournaments. The, that's because this card right here, I only use this in my deck when I'm playing friendly duels. But when if I, but if I ever do go to tournaments or something like that, this card will just would just be taken out of the extra deck and it will not be used. This is just something I just use for friendly duels with friends or family members. But anyway, let's get on with our card text. With Magi Magi Magician Gal, she uh, she requires at least two spellcaster type monsters to get her out, and once per turn. You can detach one XYZ material monster and you can activate one of these two following effects. And and plus one card from your hand and send it to the graveyard. One, you can tar you can target one of your monsters and take control over your opponent's monsters. You can take control of one of your opponent's monsters until the end phase. Or you can use it and or you can use the second effect, which is bringing a monster from your graveyard and just special summoning it. This is basically kind of like a, a free monster reborn, if you will, on the card text for the last part of the effect, which is, that, which is that's pretty good. I really wish they'd bring this card right here over in the English TCG. That would be just awesome if they would actually do that one of these days. Next, we're still running two Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knights. For Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, it needs Dark Magician Girl and one Dragon-type monster, hence, which is why we use the Eye of Tamias 4 in the deck. Uh, same as can only be summoned by Fusion Summon. And once per in a quick effect, once per turn, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, target one face-up card on the field, destroy that target. That's a pretty good effect. I use it from time to time whenever I get her out. It's still really very good to use. And right next, we're running one Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. For in Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, Dark Magician, one Dragon Monster, and can only be summoned with Dark Magician and Fusion Monsters. And his, and his name is also treated as also just Dark Magician. His name is treated like Dark Magician when it's out on the field, too. And you, while it's on the field or in the graveyard, it's treated as Dark Magician. You can... And your opponent cannot target spells, traps with card effects. They cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. This is basically keeping your other spell cards and trap the spells and stuff like that to keep it from safe from being destroyed. And we're also running one amulet dragon, which is dark, which requires dark magician and a dragon type monster. It can only be summoned by fusion summon with Eye of Tamias. If this card is special summon, target any number of spells in your graveyard. And when you banish them, you this card gains 100 attack points for every card that was sent from your graveyard for that was spells and stuff like that because it automatically gains it some more attack. And the last for the extra deck 
for fusions would be Dark Paladin, which, uh, as I said in my last video, the Optimized will also be used for any kind of other material for the fusion summon. So he, this is in here for extra measures. And for Dark Paladin, it's only available for a fusion summon when this card is... You can activate this effect. You can discard one card, negate the activation of any spells you're in trap your opponent controls. And then and uh let me see. No, I take that back. I'm so I am sorry. It's quick effect. You can discard one card, negate the activation. If you do, destroy it and this card must be face up on the field to activate and, res and resolve the effect. It also gains 500 attack for every dragon on the field or in the graveyard. And that would be it for the extra deck. And with this being uh, my the uh, new update from my Dark Magician Girl deck, I also um, went on and added uh, two token two um, Yugi and a Tim tokens because uh, you never know when you're gonna need some. To, you never know when you're gonna need a a token whenever you're in a match or something because uh, you just never know. So I just went on to add it two tokens in here. But other than that, this is my updated Dark Magician Girl deck. It's been pretty fun so far, and with and how it's been, how it's been right now, I believe it's probably gonna stay like this for a while because it's still i haven't ran into any hiccups or anything like that with it and i'm gonna go and with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up to a close here because i have um uh talked long enough about the deck and um, i'm gonna go ahead and try and see if i can get some more duels to play with it with friends that i'm about to be hanging out with soon in a couple of hours or so but other than that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up to a close. And until the next video I put out, this is Hyper Shadow 92 and I am signing out. Peace.